wanted to do another quick update of the autopilot on navigation. I know we said that it's only available on interstates, but uh, we're about to get onto, we just came off of a major interstate highway. Um, and so we're actually gonna get onto a smaller road. And if you see, it still shows navigate on autopilot um, on this road, if you guys are familiar with the uh, area, it's Fairfax County Parkway. So it's still giving us the option. So we're navigating on autopilot right now and it's asking me to change lanes um, into a faster lane. We'll go ahead and confirm the lane change. We have lots of audible warnings, um, so which is kind of nice if you're unfamiliar with the area. So it looks like it wants me to stay in this lane for a while. So this navigator on autopilot is still again just working. This is not, even though it looks like an interstate right here, this is not like a uh, interstate, it's more of like a parkway or you know, like a smaller, um, uh, I guess, smaller highway. There are traffic lights and stuff like that on this road. I'm interested to see, um, that's coming up around this next turn way up here. Uh, so I'm interested to see what happens when, with the autopilot on navigation when we encounter stoplights and other things like that. I know initially with the autopilot when it came out, um, it wouldn't work on uh, roads that had stoplights, so it wouldn't allow you, um, and it would limit your speed like it was a little two-lane road um, when that feature became available. So we're coming up to our first stoplight. Um, the lane change, oh okay, so there's our navigate on autopilot, it just showed right here at the bottom, sorry for the key battery warning. So there's our article. It said uh, auto navigate on autopilot ending um, in a certain number of feet. So I guess it does not, as you can see, that ended almost uh, exactly at the same point as when we've hit that first stoplight. And so it only works when there are like a, more of an interstate type area. It's not made for um, you know areas with stoplights. Although it looks like. Yeah, our lane change is still working, but as you can see uh, from our display here, that the lane changes com or the blue lines are different. Whereas Navigate on Autopilot was having a, a blue arrow in front of you, and this was having more of a um, both uh, the lane lines are illuminated. Um, and it's no longer giving you suggestions on which lane you should be in um, or anything like that. But how guys? I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.